You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. find yourself afraid of what the future will be? Are you doubtful about how to reclaim your life? Licensed clinical social worker Trudy Tobias is here to help. This is Reinventing Your Life at Any Age with host Trudy Tobias. Listen as Trudy shares information with proven techniques that will help you gain courage, make the necessary changes, overcome obstacles, and take actions to reinvent yourself in order to create the life you love. So please welcome your host of Reinventing Your Life at Any Age, Trudy Tobias. Hi, everyone. This is Trudy Tobias, licensed clinical social worker and your reinvention coach, welcoming you to my show, Reinventing Yourself at Any Age, brought to you live by Bold Brave Media and TuneIn Radio. And I'm glad to have all of you here. I have a wonderful guest, the Rogue Nurse, and we'll be talking to Debbie Oral in a moment about that and what all that means. But as you know, through these months, I've been talking to folks about what it means to reinvent yourself. And that really means it starts with what you are putting inside your head. Deb's going to be talking a lot about what you put inside your body. I'm talking about what you put inside your head. So everyone, I hope, knows by now that it is not the events going on around us, the life experiences that happen to us that cause us to have any type of emotion. It is our thoughts and our beliefs that determine how we feel about what has occurred. And the good news about that is we have the power to change those thoughts and beliefs. Sometimes we may need help, such as with a coach such as myself, at Trudy at truestcoaching.com, or another mentor or a therapist as a I also am a licensed clinical social worker, and sometimes we can just do this with practice and making sure that what we read and who we surround ourselves with in terms of people are positive. And this is especially important right now to recognize that despite things that are happening throughout our country and globally, we are still the ones who are running the bus of our lives. And what I mean by that is we're driving our bus, and we have passengers who come and jump on the bus, and if they're helpful passengers, we want to keep them on the bus. If they're not, we may need to kick them off the bus. But never, never, never let somebody take the wheel away from you. And so keep that wheel, keep that control by deciding what you're going to think and how you're going to react and what you're going to believe. There is so much false news out there. There's so much negativity out there if we let it come into us. And yet we do have that ability. We have choices. We can decide whether we're going to let that come into us. So as we are driving our bus through life, there are roads and there are obstacles on those roads and there are valleys and there are peaks and we're driving along. And yes, we are driving along right now in an environment that is unprecedented, and yet it's offering us a great challenge for how are we going to keep moving forward? How are we going to still create, reinvent our lives to be what we want them to be? And I think that the, if nothing else, this is the most important gift that I want to give to you, all of my listeners. This is the last show um, of Reinventing Yourself at Any Age. So I really want to hone in on what I hope I have given to folks and for them to take to heart. And that is to know that no matter what, you can be happy. 
you deserve to be happy. And it all depends on what you focus and what you put in your head. And Deb Oral, who is the rogue nurse, is going to help us figure out what we need to put inside our bodies, around our bodies. I think she has a great tagline on that. I'm not remembering it quite well, am I, Deb? But let's introduce Deb right before the first break. Hi, Debbie. Welcome to my show. Hi, Trudy. Thank you. I, it, the tagline is that your health is affected by what you put in, on, and around your bodies. That yeah. includes what you put in your head. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's why this is such a, a great way to end up this show is to really talk about ways that people can, you know, put in, on, or around their body, their minds, brains, and bodies for that matter, so that we can navigate a great new future for ourselves, to reinvent ourselves, and to know that the past does not equal the future. We can recreate ourselves at any time that we so choose. So, Deb, um, I know we just have a minute or so before the first break, but you were, you are a nurse, right? A registered nurse, or you originally were. Can you just start to tell us a little bit about your journey into changing that before we take the first break? Absolutely. Um, so I worked as a nurse for over 25 years, and I loved being a nurse. And I give a shout out to all the hardworking nurses out there because it is mm -hmm. a hard job. Um, mm -hmm. But I realized that our healthcare system is one of sick care, um, not healthcare. And I, through my own personal journey of changing my lifestyle and adding tools that helped me um, feel fabulous and get healthy, um, I decided that that was more the direction I wanted to go in teaching people and supporting them in their journeys to get healthy and stay healthy. So I became a health coach and also dove deeper into the subject of essential oils and non-toxic products, which is what I teach and talk about now. So you said something about that this had to do also with your own life journey. So there was a time where you needed to to not only change careers, it sounds like, because it wasn't fulfilling your soul anymore. It sounds like you needed to reinvent yourself because you were feeling some kind of angst about the, uh, as you say, that it was not a healthcare world, it was a sick care world. Would that be accurate? Am I understanding that? That would be accurate. Yeah, that would be accurate, but including the fact that I had some health um, issues um, at, in the latter part of my first pregnancy, and what I was told at that time was that I needed to take a certain medication and that changing my diet and lifestyle was probably not going to make a difference. And with what I was reading and learning for myself, just on a personal journey, that did not make sense to me. And so I began to learn more and read more and um, realize that our bodies are designed, again, there is a time and a place for medication. I'm so grateful for our healthcare system. It's gotten many people out of a lot of um, emergency situations, but on the long run, what we need to do is to change the way that we look at our health, what we put in, on, and around our body, and realize that those things are really affecting our, our health in the long term. Okay, so you're saying again that it comes down to personal choice in a way. And you're not saying don't listen to professional doctors and nurses and things like that, but make your own choice about what is going to work and what is going to be most effective for yourself. Absolutely. It's, you know, I look at an integrative approach. Um, you know, we, one of the things, again, my, one of my biggest focuses is, is on teaching people about toxins, and we don't realize just how much the things in our environment, like pesticides, affect our health. So mm -hmm. those are things I talk about changing. So that's why you say 
in, around, and on your body. And we'll talk more about this when we come back from our first break. This is Trudy Tobias, licensed clinical social worker and your reinvention coach, coming to you live from Bold Brave Media and TuneIn Radio with my show, Reinventing Yourself at Any Age, and my guest, Debbie Oral. We'll be right back. If you seek a courageous advocate, prepare to champion your rights with consumer service agencies that support aging populations. Carol Ann Hamilton is the one for you. Carol Ann is an elder care coach, author, and speaker with a quarter million hours lived experience successfully supporting unculpable aging parents. As a result of a challenging journey, Carol Ann revolutionizes how stressed out caregivers restore serenity to their worlds. She also brings over 25 years of change management expertise in Fortune 500 settings to catalyze urgent transformation within the elder care industry. Carol Ann is a popular speaker at conferences across North America. She has appeared via TV, radio, and print globally. Now you can tune in weekly to get a dose of her inspiration plus down-to-earth advice to cope with even the most difficult aging parents. Listen Wednesdays at 9 a.m. Eastern on Bold Brave Media and TuneIn Radio. Mike Zorick, a three-time California state champion in Greco-Roman wrestling at 114 pounds. Mike, blind since birth, was born in Hartford, Connecticut. He was a six-time national player placer, including two seconds, two thirds, and two fourths. He also won the Veterans Folk Style Wrestling twice at 152 pounds. In all these tournaments, he was the only blind competitor. Nancy Zorick, a creative spirit whose talents have taken her to the stage and into galleries and exhibitions in several states. Her father, a commercial artist who shared his instruments with his daughter and helped her fine-tune her natural abilities, influenced her decision to follow in his footsteps. Ms. Zorick has enjoyed a fruitful career doing what she loves. Listen Saturday mornings at 12 Eastern for The Nancy and Mike Show for heartwarming stories and interesting talk on the B. BBM Global Network. Hi, welcome back. This is Trudy Tobias, licensed clinical social worker and your reinvention coach, coming to you live from Bold Brave Media and TuneIn Radio with my show, Reinventing Yourself at Any Age. And Debbie Oral, our rogue nurse, is talking to us about uh, toxins in the environment. So please, Debbie, continue your conversation about that. So you know, one of the things I really love to have people be aware of is all the things in our environment from skin care and pesticides and even the things we may take to deal with some minor issues, um, you know, muscle, muscle pain or, or something like that. They become toxins in our body. Our body has to um, process and deal with that. And so one is being aware of those things that actually can affect our health. People aren't aware that toxins can affect our gut health. We've heard a lot about the microbiome, and it's not just about probiotics, but also those things that can offset our um, our systems and create long-term issues. So teaching people to read labels and then teaching them what they can substitute non-toxic products. Essential oils are really, really a wonderful tool Uh that we can use on an everyday basis to um, help clean the air when you diffuse the oils, change your mood by diffusing oils, or even be very good for our skin care, take care of muscle pain, all of those things. They're, they are tools that we can incorporate so that we're not having to use things that are going to be more harmful, harmful to our body. So why do you think essential oils, it seems like, you know, those of us who are into natural I don't know if that's quite the right word, but healthcare and what we can do are, are more proactive. But why do you think nat, uh, things like oil, the essential oils are considered so far out when they really aren't? What, do you just think it's just the way it's been, you know, prop, <laughs> I don't know, propaganda, I, I guess? I don't know. Yeah, I, so I think that people don't realize that there is very deep science behind essential oils. And the company that I partner with, doTERRA, 
actually has worked very hard to do research. We actually, um, the company is in the process of building and developing integrative clinics. They are working with physicians so that they understand that these can be a tool to work alongside what uh, traditional medicine or our allopathic medicine is doing. So um, as the research comes out, you realize that essential oils are chemicals. So each plant has, has a chemical profile um, and it could work not better in our body because our body recognizes those things that are natural. Our cells can absorb them and they are not trying to detoxify from things that it, it doesn't recognize that are, are going to be harmful to us. Oh, that's really interesting. So so it's because they are natural and therefore our bodies don't have to try to fight it is what you're saying. So because whenever you hear like a, a commercial for a, uh, you know, medication, they list, and I know they have to now by law, but they list on the air all the things that could go wrong, all the all the possible side effects, you know, which always strikes me as interesting because I hear more about the side effects than I hear about the benefits of what of you know <laughs> what this so called chemical is going to do. Um, pretty and so scary. you're saying, yeah, it is pretty scary. Uh, at the same time, though, I think that it's really important. I like the fact that you're saying integrative so that we apply the science and we apply. It's kind of like East meets West, isn't it, in a way? I mean, we're applying what we're not just throwing out all of the health care because I do believe, you know, uh, that has developed and grown and and, uh, you know, has gotten better as time has gone on too, so that doctors uh, regularly, you know, uh, by the Western uh, tradition have, I think they're coming to agree more with, with some of what you're talking about. Has that been your experience? I think that there's a start, but, you know, even with something as simple as nutrition, our physicians get very little uh, nutritional education and, Obviously, what, what we eat and what we put in our body becomes our body, becomes our cells. And there's, you know, there's a, a very deep thing to, to that as far as the quality of the food. It's not just about um, macronutrients, proteins, carbs, and, and fats. It's also about the quality of the food and, and how that energy creates our, our cells. And the same thing with, you know, anything, even essential oils, the, the, the quality of the essential oils is going to have a very different effect on your body. And, and there are uh, companies out there, you, you, can get, you can get essential oils at the dollar store. I've seen them there. Please don't do that. Um, <laughs> because they're, they're going to be mostly chemically altered so that they are not 100% pure. Um, and you really want to look at a company that really prides themselves in that purity. So besides going to doTERRA, which is great, I know I have several friends who are representatives of that company. Um, how do how would people know what is, uh, you know, a solid, I don't know, word salad, you know, essential a company oil, to go yeah, with. No. Yeah, an essential oil that Absolutely. is healthy. How, how would they know that? So you want to look at what kind of testing they do. Um, it's not only testing for pesticides and um, chemicals, but you want to look at a company that looks at the chemical profile. For me, it becomes very important that, and there, there are a couple of other companies that actually source their oils in their indigenous populations where they where they grow um, and that they are uh, not you know I can grow lavender in my backyard it's not going to have the same chemical profile as lavender grown in Belgium or, or, or France it's going to be very different so so you mm -hmm. want to make sure that the, the testing and the chemical profile is looked at properly 
Okay, and I, I hopefully that's on the label or some easy way to find that out. And we'll discuss a little bit more about this when we come back. This is Trudy Tobias, your reinvention coach, licensed clinical social worker, coming to you live from Bold Brave Media and TuneIn Radio with my show, Reinventing Yourself at Any Age. And we will be right back. According to the American Nurses Association, there are approximately three and a half to four million nurses in the United States. So where do all these nurses work? What kind of roles do they have? What kind of education and training help to prepare them for so many different settings? What kind of impact do nurses have on patient outcomes? The World Health Organization has announced that 2020 will be the year of the nurse, honoring the 200th birth anniversary of Florence Nightingale, an international National initiative called Nursing Now is underway to raise the profile of nursing. The National Academy of Medicine has convened a committee to create the future of nursing 2020 to 2030 that will focus on how the nursing profession can create a culture of health, reduce health disparities, and improve the health and well-being of the U.S. population. Learn more and join Joyce Batchelor on All About Nursing, Wednesdays from 7 to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time on the BBS. Global Network. The opiate epidemic has reached crisis levels, and with so many families affected by addiction, opiate related drug overdoses, and death, the time is now to have a real constructive conversation about addiction that could lead to better prevention, treatment, and recovery. Alan Charles, author and keynote speaker on drug abuse and prevention, presents The Alan Charles Show. Alan brings a message of hope, sharing his unbelievable story of surviving a 24 year addiction to cocaine and highlights from his memoir, Walking Out the Other Side, an addict's journey from loneliness to life. His raw honesty and courageous heart breaks the stigma of addiction and offers a unique perspective into the mind of an addict. Join Alan each week as he brings his listeners to a true understanding of the grip of addiction. It is only with this understanding that we can begin to heal. The Alan Charles Show, Thursdays at 9 p.m. Eastern on the BBM Global Network. Hi, welcome back. This is Trudy Tobias. I, a licensed clinical social worker and your reinvention coach, coming to you live with my show, Reinventing Yourself at Any Age, from Bold Brave Media and TuneIn Radio. And we've been talking about essential oils and what you put in your body and how that contributes to reinventing yourself. I understand we have some callers on the air, I mean on the phone. Before I say that, if anybody else wants to call in and ask questions, the number is 866 866- Four five one, one four five one. Please feel free to call in, and we'll get you on the air, and you can ask your questions. Again, that's eight six six four five one one four five one. So I understand we have a caller named Peg on the air. Peg, would you like to ask us your question, please? I would. Thank you. My name is Peg Morrison. I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina. I love. Uh, learning about essential oils, and I love the concept of reinvention at any age. Help me understand the connection, please. Sure. So my show has been on reinventing yourself at any age, and I mainly talk about how you do that through your thoughts and your mindset, thoughts, beliefs, how that creates a new way of being. And that that comes about with... Uh, yeah, definitely with changing your thoughts and your beliefs and there's a technique and there's things to do. I've brought on people, if you haven't ever listened before, about people who've already done this. Some have been my clients, mm-hmm. some have also been other coaches who help with this process and it's changing your mindset. I also have brought on people like our, my current guest, Deb Oral, who talks about other ways to reinvent yourself. So there's ways to reinvent your health and essential oils is one of the ways to to reinvent your health that helps you to reinvent yourself. I've had people talk about mindfulness or meditation and I've had people, I had a space doula on a few weeks ago, how she was talking about how your environment reflects your life. And as you start to make changes or want to make changes, changing your space can help you make those changes. So does that, does that answer your questions? And hopefully Deb can answer them a little bit more precisely in terms of essential oils. But it's all sorts of, we have lots of tools out there for how we can re- 
reinvent ourselves. I personally, being a licensed clinical social worker and a mindset coach, reinvention coach, believe that that is the essential way. But, and I recognize there's a whole lot of other tools that I wanted to expose my listeners to as well. Because I don't know about essential oils and I didn't know anything about changing your space and that type of thing. Does, does that answer your question, Peg? Or It does. That's helpful. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I think, Peg, thank you again. I think that um, essential oils are tools that we can use to reinvent lots of things. We can change our mood with the simple um, scent. I always, what I like to do with people is have them close their eyes for a minute and just picture the smell that you get, the burst of, of orange scent when you're peeling an orange. And if you can just imagine that for a minute and what that makes you feel like. So, the, the scent of an essential oil can change your mood it, immediately. And that's just one of the things that it, it, they can do. They, they work with the brain and the amygdala. Um, and so they're, they're um, small particular matter, matter because they can enter our cells so easily, can change the way that our bodies process things. Um, so there, there's just so many different things that they have the capability of doing for us. And so one of the things where I see this working in tandem is that I work with people on in terms of reinventing themselves by changing their thoughts and beliefs, especially about perhaps a toxic relationship or something that has blocked them so that they can create a new reinvented life once they clear those blocks. And I do it through coaching techniques and and understanding your thoughts and how your thoughts create your beliefs and then vice versa you, because of your beliefs you have certain thoughts and that keeps going on and that creates though those thoughts and beliefs creates how we react how we respond and the mood that we are in when we are reactive we're usually in a negative situation uh feeling in our body when we are responding, which is what as a coach, we, I teach, and I know other coaches teach people to respond, to, to take their own personal responsibility for how, think of respond, responsibility, and response, changing that from react, which is act, reacting is reactive to something. So we have the ability to change our thoughts that can change our moods and and therefore to respond differently because we do act out of our emotions. And here is another tool such as the essential oils, which I know in talking to Debbie before, we've talked you've talked about Debbie, how it affects not only your mood, but it can affect sleep and your digestion and your energy. And so all of those also can help people learn how to take different actions to respond to what's going on differently and therefore take different actions. And by taking different actions, we then reinvent our lives. We then change the direction that we're going in. Absolutely. One of the things that you learn about as you look at the more um, traditional forms of health and healing, Ayurveda and traditional Chinese medicine, which have used essential oils and herbs for, for decades, is that we can't look at our bodies as separate parts. We have to look at our bodies as whole. And people don't realize that one of the things I work with people on a lot is digestion, um, that our digestive uh, processes actually can affect our mood, what's happening with the, the microbiome in that. So we have to, we can't take a part from the whole and we have to work together integratively. Okay. And when we come back, I'd like you to explain what microbiome is. You're using it. And I know other people will probably like me wondering, what does that mean? So this is Trudy Tobias, licensed clinical social worker, your reinvention coach, coming to you live from Bold Brave Media and Tune In Radio with my show, Reinventing Yourself at Any Age. And we'll be right back. Have you ever felt like no one is listening or you're not getting the honest attention you deserve? Do you even know the kind of attention you want or need? You are not alone. Alice Aspen March is here to help. 
Thanks to Alice, through her epiphany and research over the word attention, there are solutions to the attention dilemma. Worldwide audiences have been enthralled and engaged for over 40 years with her visionary and pioneering observations. The kind of attention we get and give is vital to improving our lives and society. Alice and her weekly guests review game-changing insights for transforming and improving our understanding of attention, providing techniques for creating healthier and empowering behavior. Get a new perspective on a mainstream word. Tune into Why Our Attention Matters for fresh and thought-provoking conversations every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern on BoldBraveMedia.com and the TuneIn Radio app. What if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick. Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy EasySense.com and learn how, with your help, we can fight these horrific brain disorders. That's EasySense.com to learn more and help support the Broderick Foundation. Welcome back. This is Trudy Tobias, licensed clinical social worker and your reinvention coach, coming to you live from Bold Brave Media and TuneIn Radio with my show, Reinventing Yourself at Any Age. And we were just talking with Debbie Oral, the rogue nurse, who is much more into how we can heal ourselves by natural means using essential oils and nutrition. And Debbie, you were using some terms that I just wanted to make sure our listeners were familiar with. Um, you said something about the bio, uh, microbiome. Thank you, um, microbiome. So, yeah. So mm -hmm. our there is an expression that our our bodies are more bacteria living living more uh, in our bodies than anything else. Our microbiome is the balance of good and back, bad bacteria, not only in our gut, in our intestines, but on our skin. And we have um, really done harm to our microbiome by the overuse of antibiotics antibiotics in our meats and in our dairy, by uh, pesticides, processed foods, all of those things have changed the uh, living environment of these good bacteria in our systems. And so what they are discovering is that there is a very big connection between the microbiome of the gut and our brain, which can affect our mood, it can affect our thinking. And so those are things that often once addressed in combination with getting them back in balance, changing what we're putting in on and around our body and using the using the tools like essential oils, we can get things back into balance so that we are clear of thought and that our moods are better. And, and so I've heard all, the expression yeah, that, that our guts are also like are our second brain, something to that effect? Yes. Have you? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. We, I actually tell people that there are three brains, the gut, the heart, and the actual brain. And the three of them really send signals throughout our body um, together. And, and so um, it affects our mood and it can affect the way that we function in life. Mm -hmm. And that's really what, what my work is in terms of helping people reinvent their lives moving forward is how, you know, what do we do? How are we being affected in our lives and how can we change that to get to where we want to get and to be what we want to be, how we want to be. So right. um, I've always thought of the gut also as the seat of emotions, you know, that, like we yeah. hear th expressions like butterflies in my stomach or when we're nervous, you know, we, you know, we have like a, a, a big ball of 
something in our stomachs. Tension you know, in our, in tension. our gut, yes. Yeah, yeah. So would you say that some of the things you're talking about also helps in, in those regards too? Uh, or? Absolutely. So it, I don't only work with essential oils. I also talk about proper supplementation, which can bring things back into balance using probiotics and enzymes and different different other tools that I work with people uh, on. Um, and things that might do things like increase our serotonin. Um, lavender is a simple oil that does many great things for our skin, but it also, actually, this is one of the scientific things out there that they've studied, it actually can uh, bring down the cortisol. And if you, people who know cortisol is the um, flight or flight, fight or flight uh, hormone that curses through our body when we feel like we are in danger, uh, our body puts cortisol out so that we can be ready to fight that tiger that's not there right now. Um, right. It's it's lavender, the stress. Mm-hmm. It's a stress, stress hormone. Stress hormone. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And lavender can be brought down just simply by uh, using. I mean, cortisol can Cort- be brought down just by simply by using lavender. Um, there are oils like bergamot that can help the body increase serotonin. Um, and, we, you know, I work with a supplement that increases GABA, which also helps to increase serotonin. So and serotonin they're, they're, is the good, is the feel good. The, the happy hormone, yes. The happy hormones, right. And the happy hormone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And especially and, right now with what is going on in our world, it's even more important than ever that we learn how to manage our, you know, our stress uh how to decrease cortisol and increase serotonin so that we can go through life with, you know, feeling as much as ease as possible. Think of the word disease and dis-ease, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's what I, what I share with people. And, you know, it's, it's, again, it's a combination of tools, mindfulness, um, you know, with, you you can meditate and you can increase that effectiveness of meditation by inhaling something that is grounding like frankincense or a, a, a tree oil, um, Douglas fir or one of the other grounding oils that can actually put you in a sense of kind of being in that forest situation as you take that deep breath and change the smell. So it increases that effectiveness of, of meditation and mindfulness. So again, these are tools that can be used in so, so many different ways. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does all work together. It's kind of holistic medicine. I hope people really heard Debbie talk about how she, she's taking an integrative approach. You're not throwing the baby out with the bathwater, so to speak. You know, the the medical profession um, and what they're doing, we, we do still need to uh, take into account what's going on with that and figure out for ourselves what are more natural, healthy ways within that that system. Would that be accurate, Debbie? I mean, I, I like... Absolutely. Um, okay. Absolutely. I, I know that one of the up and coming types of physician out there is what is known as a functional medicine physician. And that, you know, when you work with a physician, you want somebody who is going to take the time to really look at what are the things in your lifestyle that can be changed that may be affecting affecting your health? And what are the other tools that you can use to help your body do what it needs to do? Um, and and that's right. that's how how I work with people is to give them those tools and always working with their their physicians with their health healthcare yeah. providers. And I liked how you said that, how you can help, um, you know, help our own bodies. Health is what is natural for our bodies. So it's really tuning into that to help our own bodies heal themselves. And we will be right back after the next break and give you information on how you can reach Debbie. This is Trudy Tobias, licensed clinical social worker, your reinvention coach, coming to you live from Bold Brave Media and TuneIn Radio with my show, Reinventing Yourself at Any Age. And we will be right back. 
Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. Are you looking for employment and live in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is the place for you. Are you an employer looking to fill a position or quite a few positions in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is for you. Employers, JobsAnnex.com is your resource for career-minded people. JobsAnnex.com is the convenient place for job seekers and employers to hook up and move forward. Jobs Annex has been serving Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties for over 14 years. Years. Jobs Annex is a former employment search firm. We've evaluated many thousands of resumes and we understand what employers want and what job applicants need to be successful in their interviews. At Jobs Annex, we provide you with the tools to tell your story for free. Our resources at jobsannex.com will help each applicant construct an award-winning resume, an eye-catching cover letter, and key interview questions to ask in various types of interviews. Best of all, it's free. Jobsannex.com. That's J-O-B-S-A-N-N-E-X.com. Hi, welcome back to my show, Reinventing Yourself at Any Age. This is Trudy Tobias, licensed clinical social worker and your reinvention coach, coming to you live from Bold Brave Media and TuneIn Radio. And we were just talking with Debbie Oral, the rogue nurse, who is very much into essential oils and other natural ways for us to heal ourselves. And I think we were finishing up that last segment about it's really getting our bodies in alignment so that it can heal itself, right? It's Our bodies do have that ability. So we just need to help Correct. it along. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So when when we give it the right environment, then it's going to do what it needs to do for us naturally. Nothing is nothing. There is no magical cure out there. I always I always say that essential oils are not magic, but they are magical. Mm. OK, good. Yeah. So I guess it's like when you say the environment, it's like when. Doctors often say when we're not feeling well, get some rest. I always think that's interesting. They don't say go to sleep. They say get more rest. And again, when we're resting, it allows our minds and brains and bodies to heal. So uh, in in our environment today, nobody, we were just in a go, 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 go environment. And it's really, it's really hurting us. mm Mm-hmm. Well, I guess one thing the pandemic has done is made us all slow down a little <laughs> bit, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it has done that. So, Debbie, if folks want, want to reach you to get more information, how can they do that? Sure. So my website is simply uh, my name, debaural.com, and I will say that it's O-R-O-L. People often want to switch that O to an A, but it's O-R-O-L, deboral.com. And um, my email address is healthcoach at deboral.com. And last is my phone number, 919-673-0844. Feel free to reach out if you want to know more. Um, I do classes periodically on essential oils. I have a detox program coming up I'm preparing for in early October um, and would love to share with you more about that. Okay, well, thank you. And thank you so much, Debbie, for coming on today. Really appreciate it. And I think, you know, the information is very useful. I know I have not had that much experience with essential oils or natural ways of healing and I just think it's it's really good to hear more about that so thank Thank you you for having me Trudy yeah thanks for being here so folks since this is my last show I wanted to talk a little bit more 
especially what's, with what's going on in our world right now, about what it is that we all need to do to reinvent ourselves so that we can feel good and as happy as possible moving forward. And that's really why you want to reinvent yourself, right? You, something hasn't been working and you want a change. It might be that you're in a toxic relationship and you need to break out of it. It might be that you have beliefs that you know are holding you back in your business or that your thoughts are interfering with your great relationship that you want to have with your child. There's so many different things that come into play for how we interact with other people and mainly, though, how we are with ourselves. So um, I, I've been doing the mind, brain, body work since the early no, mid-70s, I guess, gives you a little idea of how long I've been around. And uh, and I think, though, that one of the most important things to realize, as I've said before, it's our thoughts. It's not what is going on. It is our around us. It's our thoughts which create our beliefs, and then our beliefs create the thoughts. So it's vice versa, um, because b- Beliefs are just a lot of thoughts that have coalesced together that uh, we have attached meaning to. And then we take in from the environment and only think those thoughts that fit our, the beliefs that we have formed. Most of the beliefs have been created before the age of seven or eight, the age of reason. And we do have the capability, perhaps with some help, but we do have the capability of changing those beliefs so that we can reinvent ourselves, so that we can, for example, take toxic relationships, which is a course I'm going to be teaching. How do you recognize it? How do you break out of it so that you can be your true self, so that you can reach your full potential, that you no longer have to uh, hold yourself back in fear of what somebody else is going to say or do. So the most important things, and I know this can sound odd in the current environment, the most important thing we can do for ourselves really is to keep our emotions into a state of joy, of appreciation, of being in love or gratitude. All of those emotions keep our vibrations high. And when our vibrations are high, we have a better immune system for one thing, which is very important right now. So please understand that I Also, I'm not saying, in fact, I encourage wearing masks. I'm not saying let's live in a world of denial here. We need to do what is makes sense for each of us to do in order to protect ourselves and what's going on right now. That being said, one of the things that we can do most of all to protect ourselves is live in a state of joy, love, appreciation, gratitude, as much as possible, because that keeps our immune systems up as well. And when we do that, when we have that kind of energy, our desires get blasted out into the world, and that's how we create a new life for ourselves. So as, so learn to turn on, tune in, tap in, on any way that you can, no matter what is happening around you, no matter what. And the way to do that is to focus on the things that give you joy and happiness. So instead of, and it's so easy to do, and I have found myself doing this up until now, I am now officially stopping this, is to stay out of the negativity that's going on. Stop reinforcing it. What do we want to have happen? Focus on that. We want to have health. We want to have freedom again. We want people to be created to treat one another well. We want to show love in the world. This is the things that we want to do and this is what we can do when we reinvent ourselves by focusing on what we want instead of what we don't want. So when we come back from the next break, I'm going to again give you a little formula that I hope you will take forward on how you can reinvent yourself at any age. This is Trudy Tobias, licensed clinical social worker, your reinvention coach, coming to you live from BoldBraveMedia.com and TuneIn Radio with my show, Reinventing Yourself at Any Age. 
and we will be right back. Dr. R.C. will share extraordinary resources and services that promote educational success as well as making a difference in the lives of all social workers as well as the lives of children, adolescents, and teens of today. She will have open discussions addressing many of the issues that we face about our youth and how being employed in the uniquely skilled profession of social work for over 18 years has taught invaluable lessons through her personal experiences. She will also provide real-life facts, examples, and personal stories that will confirm that why serving as a child advocate is extremely beneficial when addressing the needs of the whole child. Listen live Saturdays, 10 a.m. Eastern on the BBM Global Network and tune in radio as Dr. R.C. will provide thought-provoking information that will empower, encourage, and strengthen students, families, and communities across our nation. You can also visit her at SoarWithKatie.com. Have you ever wondered why some children recover from their symptoms of autism while others never seem to get any better? After 13 years of research, Karen Thomas has recovered her own son from his symptoms of autism naturally. She now shares how she did it with you in her free webinar so that you can have the right resources and knowledge to help your child. The definition of recovery is to regain health. Karen offers this to you in four stages. Healing the gut, natural heavy metal detoxification, balancing the co-infections of autism, brain support, and repair. Register now for this free webinar to help you know what you can do to help your child to sleep better, be more calm, improve focus, and reach their fullest potential to live a happy, healthy life. Go to naturallyrecoveringautism.com forward slash free workshop empowering parents with the resources to naturally recover autism from a mom who's done it author radio show host and coach john m hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective build confidence find clarity achieve goals john m hawkins new book coached to greatness unlock your full potential with limitless growth Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them, rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Hi, welcome back. This is Trudy Tobias, licensed clinical social worker and your reinvention coach, coming to you live from Bold Brave Media and TuneIn Radio with my show Reinventing Yourself at Any Age. So what all this boils down to is what do you want to do? How do you want to be for the rest of your life? And how willing are you to put forth the feeling effort to get it? So this is the formula. Identify what you don't want, only so that you can then identify what you do want. We so often focus on the lack instead of what it is that we want. It's really important that we focus on what we want, such as I want continual good health. I want peace in the world. What do we want? Focus on the wants and then find the feeling place. This is really important. The feeling, the emotion of your want. How would you feel inside internally when this has come to fruition and you start to do the feeling now? Experience those feelings now of happiness, joy, gratitude. Have an appreciation of the day so that you have something easy to fall back on. For example, something that can just bring a smile to your face whenever you think of it. I often use my dog in that way. Whenever I'm feeling some kind of negativity, I can just picture my dog or my grandchildren and I immediately feel joy. That's what I am encouraging all of you to do. Have something you can fall back on automatically so that you can get to that good feeling place. And the more you do this, the easier it becomes, the more that you can then create the the new script for how you want your life to be. And then expect and listen and allow the universe to deliver what it is that you want. 
keep your focus off of the blankety blank conditions. And we all know there's a lot of blankety blank conditions out there right now. Keep your focus off of that. Keep it focused on what you do want. If anybody out there would like some assistance with learning how to do this more and better, you can get my book, Reinventing Yourself at Any Age by Trudy Rodkin Tobias on Amazon.com, or you can get it directly from re- from reaching out to me. I also have a free download for reinventing your, uh, it's called the Truest Life Roadmap, and that is on my website. My website is truest, T-R-U-E-S-T, Coaching. Dot com. You can get that download. I also have a workbook, which even walks you through it more for a minimal, um, I believe, minimal price considering all the work that's gone into it. Or you can reach out to me by emailing me at Trudy, T-R-U-D-Y, at truestcoaching.com. It's Trudy at truestcoaching.com. Or you can call me at 336 763 Four six one one. That's three three six seven six three four six one one. If you've gotten anything out of this journey, I would love to get the feedback from you that you have. If the show has inspired you in some way, I would love to hear that. And even more importantly, I want to help you move forward in reinventing yourself. How to break free from limiting thoughts and beliefs and relationships and situations that have have up until now held you back from creating the life that you love. It's time to move forward no matter what is going on around us. It can it it is not happening to us. It is up to us to decide how we want to be, how we want to think, how we want to feel. So please everyone choose happiness, choose positivity. Choose appreciation, choose love, choose being your truest, highest self. If I can help you in any way, I would love to do it. Thank you so much for letting me be part of your life these past six months. And here is to things getting better and better, reinventing ourselves, reinventing our lives at any age. Thank you. God bless. This is Trudy Tobias, licensed clinical social worker, your truest, your excuse me, your reinvention coach, coming to you live from Bold Brave Media and TuneIn Radio with my show, Reinventing Yourself at Any Age. Take care. Be positive. This has been Reinventing Your Life at Any Age with host Trudy Tobias. Join the conversation. Conquer fears about your future. Take emotional risks and reinvent yourself to become your most authentic and joyous self in order to create a life you love now. Right here on Reinventing Yourself at Any Age with Trudy Tobias. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.